I can't go back on to it, but, um, I have Metro PCS, and basically after, like, not having my phone open for a while, my heart is beating so fast right now, after not having my phone open for a while, when I open my phone, this Metro PCS thing will, like, show me a bunch of different news articles, and I just got one that says that Bray Wyatt died. There is no fucking way he just died, bro. I'm actually out of breath. I can't even talk right now. It says he's dead at 36. Uh, c cause of death revealed. I'm going to cry right now, bro. There's no fucking way. Three hours ago? Nine o'clock? I was up at nine o'clock. I think I saw something like that. I saw something about Bray Wyatt when I opened up my phone, but I didn't know what it was. So, more news coming through regarding Bray Wyatt. Uh, this coming from Sean Rossack around about less, about less than 10 minutes ago. Uh, Sean obviously runs Fightful, uh, a very well-respected uh, wrestling news outlet, and he's tweeted this out saying that he was given permission earlier this year to reveal that Bray had contracted COVID. That exacerbated a heart issue. Um, there was a lot of positive... That's why he was gone with some type of sickness that we didn't know about. And I was hearing about that the whole time. And I think I saw some articles about that when I opened up my phone too. I don't remember actually. But I, I think I saw stuff in the comments of videos about it or videos about it in general saying that we didn't know what he had and now this progress towards a return and a recovery but unfortunately it seems like Bray today suffered a heart attack and that's what's resulted in his passing this is really difficult for people to get their heads around hopefully this news will just answer the biggest question you know why has this happened how has this happened and uh, just thoughts with everyone at this very very difficult time so I have to make a video on this now. Oh my fucking god, bro. All right, so you should have just seen this recording right here. Um I don't really know what to do right now. I'm just going to be recording my desktop. this so that it doesn't overwrite anything. Um, I'm going to show you this whole line of events in how I have reacted to uh, Bray Wyatt's death. Um, this is everything from, I don't really know what the date says. Oh, I think it says, uh, what does that say? May? I think I started recording a bunch of different stuff in May to make edits on on uh, TikTok, and I've recently started to do different wrestlers, and one of the different wrestlers I was very excited to uh, edit was Bray Wyatt's, Bray, Bray Wyatt and his build-up to being the Fiend character. And uh, I was honestly very excited for that because The Fiend is kind of like this horror character. And I've realized it kind of really... I, I want to explain everything for myself and what I think about it as well is that um, The Fiend character doesn't really work well because it's not... You can't kill your opponent, right? And And that might be like an over exaggeration 
and an obvious uh, statement, but like, it just doesn't seem like it fits. But uh, the Fiend character was very godly. He was very, he's cool as fuck. And um, they ruined him, absolutely ruined him with Goldberg and uh, even kind of that, that one time where Roman returned and just said he's just a freaking a mess that just kind of ruins everything. And even him doing what he does kind of just ruins wrestling because all he has to do is no-sell everything, right? But it was just such a good character. And there was some of the stuff that was kind of corny or whatever, but some of the stuff was cool. Just the look of the Fiend and everything. He was so cool. And when I was a little kid, I was horrified of him because John Cena was my everything. John Cena was my life. Wrestling was my life, but John Cena on top of that was my life. And, um... I uh, was terrified of the things that Bray did with the John Cena uh, feud, but as I got older, I understood how much of a uh, genius Bray was, and like a few months ago when I used to play Forza all the time, I would watch those 10 minute long videos that are like nine years old of his old promos and I was honestly fascinated fascinated because of how good he was on the mic and it was really uh it shocked me because I relived it and I finally understood it as I go as I got older um but when I was a kid and seeing like the the debt when it, when it would switch uh when they would like come out in surprise attack or or just anything, uh, well, when they would end their promo and then it would cut off to a commercial, that that moment of uh, the sheep and Bray's face, I think what it what it was, that just that horrified me because it was dark and it was dark on the screen. It was dark in my room where I was watching it. You know, I wanted to look behind me, and it was scary and loud. So, um, I didn't like it as a kid, but when I grew up, I realized how cool he was, and even just his theme song, I mean, I think I was always kind of obsessed, um, with his theme song, th theme song as a kid, there are th some theme songs wrestlers have that aren't necessarily good, but they're, like, I can't get it out of my head, because it's funny to sing, or it's fun to sing, whatever, um, and I think that's how I was about his theme song. But his theme song that they bought the rights to and they switched it for The Fiend, they, like, made it different, was so, so good. Just that high-pitched voice, a higher-pitched kind of voice version of it, and the screaming was, it was actually good and sounded scary. And the way that The Fiend would walk down to the ring with it was, was good. Um, some of the parts like in the beginning and the end of that song are horrible and just annoying sounds but the actual song is great and um yeah but look th this is my whole point of this look you see Bray's face right there and that's him right there I was I was gonna put all this stuff in together as an interview or uh, as an edit there's interviews and stuff in here is what I meant um so, yeah, I, I did this long before this happened, but as I was, I, I think as I was compiling stuff and trying to find stuff to make for a video, um, I might have saw stuff in comments like, I, I can't wait till he returns or whatever. And when they put that comment, it might have been like 10 months ago or uh, two, one or two years ago because of the fact that he ended up returning at that time. Um, but recently, since what has happened has happened, um, they're, they're saying this is their words, I, I think, right? Uh, he contracted COVID and then over time it caused a heart problem and yeah. Um, well, I, I think I saw stuff like that in the comments, but I didn't really, I mean, I think I understood it perfectly. I just thought he would come back. I thought he would get over it. I thought it was... This is like one of the wildest um, 
death reactions I've ever had. Like any other time that any other celebrity died, it was kind of just a blur. Like I remember when X died and it was just kind of like a blur to me. Um, but this is crazy. This, uh, I think all the videos came out three hours ago when I was watching it earlier, my initial reaction from my cam my phone recording. I think those videos, they came out three hours ago. I was up three hours ago. And three hours ago at this point would basically be 10 o'clock. So whether if it was 10 o'clock, before 10 o'clock, or 9 o'clock at night, I was up at that time and I had no idea. I was watching other videos and I remember opening up my phone at one point and seeing something, those those articles on my phone. When I, when I opened it up, I, I saw that article and I saw the name Bray Wyatt, but when I get out of it, it doesn't like go back to it and I can't really find a way on how to get back to the exact ones that I saw, so it kind of just went away, um, and I didn't even really worry about it, but then I saw it again before when I started recording on my phone, and I, my heart started beating, and I was, I couldn't really speak, and that's kind of how I am now. This is such a crazy time right now i i didn't expect this at all and dude like no there's no way like this is gonna make me sad because this is a really crazy thing to be doing right now i'm gonna search up ray wyatt um born 1987 so uh, how old was he? 13, 23, what was he, 40? 36? Just received a call from WWE Hall of Famer Mike Rotunda, who informed us of the tragic news that our WWE family member for life, Windham Rotunda, also known as Bray Wyatt, unexpectedly passed away earlier today. Our thoughts are with his family and we ask that everyone respect their Oh come on now. If, uh, their privacy at this time. Is that the rock? I don't like the rock, but you know what? I gotta read this. Heartbroken over the news of Bray Wyatt's passing. Always had tremendous respect and love for him and the Rotunda family. Oh my god, dude. He's got a fucking brother and his father. IRS. And then there's fucking Bo Dallas, bro. Oh my fucking god. This fucking hurts. There were so many rumors that... Bo Dallas was supposed to be Uncle Howdy, and, like, recently, ever since this, um, oh my god, ever since this, uh, sickness thing came up about him being sick, it just, I, um, I was hoping that Bray would come back, but I was also hoping that there would be a thing with him and Bo, and one person put, like, a theory, uh, I think it was, like, a short, they put a theory that the, the Fiend might be coming back, even though Bray said that he rested him forever, um, and I was really sad about that, because the Fiend is such an amazing character, um, but they said that Bray was hinting towards possibly um, him just trying to not be the fiend, but once he gave the mandible claw to the cameraman, it was hinting towards that 
he's going to let the fiend take over and the fiend's going to come back. Thank you for the house. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. The rock gave his cousin Tamina Stucca a house. Is that what he's... I don't know what that means. Um... Oh, this is horrible. This is awful. I want to be honest, I didn't like his recent gimmick with the, the black eye paint and stuff. I just didn't like it. It just it wasn't the same. And they said that the Eater of Worlds might be coming back. Not that he's going to do what he used to do with Luke Harper and... Eric Rowan because Luke Harper's gone so he could never do that again but basically he was just gonna kind of be like that again he was gonna wear the Hawaiian shirts or whatever because of Luke Harper being gone or Brody Lee but oh my god this is awful he had a heart attack and I've always associated heart attacks with, like, extreme, sharp pain in your chest. So, like, I hope that's not what that is. Because if that's your last moment... Uh, they're trending right now? For what? I mean, I guess I could understand Brody, I guess. I don't know. Bro... This is awful. Like, how were people reacting to this? Because, honestly, when he returned, it was actually the biggest, greatest thing ever. Like, everybody was happy about it. And really, to hear this, I think I've got to watch, like, what's today? It's Friday, right? I think I've got to watch, like, Raw... Or something because that is just that is fucking god awful bro I wanted him to come back so bad I really thought that fiend thing was gonna happen again um once this really happened I knew I had to record automatically just explain how uh, the timeline of events that have happened with me for this I was I was really gonna make this edit and I think I'm still going to I was gonna make the demon Finn Balor edit as well just a couple of wrestlers that are really to me just cool I don't like wrestling because of the men and the women and yeah all that but I mean I just wanted to make it on the people who I thought were really cool. Um, the characters that I really liked. And even just Bray, just kind of as a person, was I, I'm pretty sure he was pretty cool. I mean, you, you, you watch the interviews and he seems like such a nice person. And, like, he's not really super big or anything. I mean, he is, apparently, but... You know, he's, he's not like everybody else, and I really like that. <sighs> Holy shit, bro. Yeah, I've, I've never liked this, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't like how RVD, Rob Van Dam, has the girlfriend that looks the way she does, and, you know, even Kevin Owens... His wife, I don't like that. Um, I like for them for their characters, but Jojo, Bray as a person and his character, so fucking cool. And hearing this, and I grew up with them. I grew up watching this motherfucker. So hearing this is awful. I mean, I guess that's all I really have to say. I'm going to get that... Uh, that edit out for sure. So I already did the outro to my video, but I didn't even explain. I, I said I was going to explain the time of events, but 
I didn't really explain all the time of events. So here's, uh, all right, at first, what was I watching first? I actually don't remember what, which one I was watching first, but I was watching this. And I don't remember exactly which one I was watching. I know it was like a 30 minute one. It was a 30 minute one. Was it this one? With the Snoop Dogg? Madonna. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, I love this, yeah. I was watching this one, but either before or after that, you're gonna see, you should see the the fiend screeching noise. I didn't mean to search that up. What I was actually I watched this video, but I only watched this video because that's what came up. This this search as well came up. What I was meaning to search up was this, uh, the fiend screen cuts. Like, um, I think I saw a video on like how good the, the fiend was or something, and they ended up uh, mentioning about how the fiend was so good or something. And I think it was USA that loved him so much that basically USA cut like pictures of his, of the fiend's face. And uh, the fiend, like in an office, I think it was. I think that's like a commercial. They cut screens in between that because they loved them so much during football games. And I was trying to see if they had that on TV or if they had a video of that on uh, YouTube. I think somebody's recorded a screen of it before um, on their TV. But I I tried to search that up, and then it ended up coming up with the other thing. So yeah, to think that is what happened tonight is crazy yeah that's all I have to say see you guys later